a lot of you have asked us, hey, can I use JackTrip together with my digital audio workstation, with my DAW, uh, like uh, Ableton, Logic, Audacity, Pro Tools, you name it. Uh, can I send to JackTrip uh, from my DAW or other people want to record from JackTrip into their DAW? So that makes sense, especially to me as a producer as well. I have my Ableton in this case, and that's my familiar environment. So long story short, yes, you can. And I'm going to show you how in this video. What I want to tell you is that we at JackTrip tried to get rid of all this complex setup structure with your DAW and tried to implement into JackTrip all the features that you might want, that you might be missing, right? We have um, reverbs and we have compressors and things like that, which by the way, I made a video about um, that you can use within JackTrip. So no need to do that in your DAW. And we also have a recording feature, which you can learn about here, uh, where you can just record any session that you make on JackTrip. Uh, you can even record individual vocal tracks or music tracks. So ideally, there would be no need for a DAW, but I respect that you ask because maybe you have a more complex setup and you want your plugins to work with JackTrip. So let's take a look at how you can do this. Think about JackTrip as being your application with an input and an output device, right? That's what you set in your settings. Let's do it here. I'm in a studio and uh, I can say I have an output device for my headphones and an input device, uh, in this case, my same external audio interface with a um, certain amount of input channels. For example, if I'm a singer, I'm sending my microphone signal uh, to the studio, that's it. So how do I now connect my DAW given that I can only select one input and one output device? You will need third-party software to do that. And these softwares are virtual audio drivers that you can install on your computer. Uh, they're free, there's paid versions as well, but I'm gonna show you, uh, first of all, one that is completely free. And the way we gotta think about this is JackTrip just listens to an input device where we send our music and it gives us back an output device, which is usually where we connect our headphones to. So now we need to tell JackTrip that it should listen to our DAW, right? We need to output from our DAW into JackTrip. But you can't just go to input device and select your Ableton or your Logic or your Pro Tools. There is no driver, there is no device. So we need to bridge that gap by saying, okay, we need a new thing, for example, Soundflower or Black Hole. We need new channels. And now in our DAW, we output to these channels, let's say channel one and two of this new thing, and then we, we need to have JackTrip listen to these two channels from that new thing. So we bridge the output from the DAW to be the input of JackTrip. Does that make sense? Similarly, if you wanted to record into your DAW from JackTrip, you would have to tell JackTrip, look, you got to output into the DAW, but you can't just select that output, that, that, that DAW. So how about you send this to this new thing that we install and then uh, our DAW listens to that thing as its input channel. So what do these softwares look like? So one of the things I recommend is Black Hole. Uh, you can search for Black Hole by Existential Audio. Um, here it is. It is a free virtual audio loopback driver, okay? Route audio between apps. That's what we want. Type in your email address and your name, and then you will get a link to download. So let's assume you have installed Black Hole. What you will see is on a Mac, for example, if you open your audio MIDI settings, you will see all of your devices and you can see that Black Hole popped up, which is a new virtual audio driver. And currently there's not much happening with it, right? There's just a, a volume slider and that's it. Nothing uses it. So we're gonna use it. So I have Ableton open up in the background here already. And let's say I, uh, I, I play the guitar, right? I could in Ableton then say, okay, how about you listen to my audio interface, which is where my, um, my music is coming from. And then we ask Ableton to output to Black Hole. So now Ableton is sending the input through any effects, you can see that I'm listening, I have the input monitoring on, right? So that means that anything that is 
being sent to this track, like my guitar, is then processed with the effects and then it is output to the master channel here, okay? And that master now goes to black hole, right? It goes to channel one and two of this new virtual thing we have installed. So now Jacktrip is listening to black hole as well. But we don't only want it to listen to channel one, we want to have it listen to channel one and two, right? We want stereo. Uh, maybe I have some stereo effect in my DAW. So this is what's happening now. Your guitar goes into Ableton. Ableton is listening to your audio interface, processes the audio on this track, and then sends that audio to Black Hole, which is the bridge, and then Jacktrip listens to Black Hole. Sounds a bit more complicated than it actually is. Now, the one thing I urge you to make sure when you do this is to make sure that Ableton processes it quickly because Jacktrip is all about low latency. So we need very, very short buffers, a very low buffer size. Uh, so I'm going to make sure that I have a low buffer size selected here. I'm going to go to preferences and I'm just going to select 64 samples, for example, which is only 1.3 milliseconds of delay. And that's good because Jacktrip also works with low buffer sizes. So we want to make sure that Ableton doesn't wait super long before it hands this buffer to Jacktrip, right? We want it to process it quickly and then send it right off. You also, by the way, want to make sure that any of the plugins you install here have very low latency. In this case, you can see in Ableton here, it shows you down here uh, that all of these plugins have zero samples of latency, which is a good thing. So this is how you can send through your DAW to Jacktrip. Also, just to make sure that you hear yourself, right? You're processing the audio in Ableton and then you don't send it to your headphones. You're just sending it out directly to Jacktrip. So you might want to make sure to uh, play with this monitoring volume here so that you can hear your own processed signal in real time, okay? Second scenario, you want to record uh, your Jacktrip audio into your DAW for whatever reason, in case you don't want to use our own uh, recording feature. How do you do that? Let's take a look. Kind of the same thing, right? You can um, go to your Jacktrip settings, uh, devices, and now you want to output to black hole, right? Um, and your input is, let's just say, your normal interface. So now I'm outputting my two Jacktrip output channels, not to my headphones, but to black hole. And now I need to tell my DAW again to listen to that black hole to record, right? So um, that's in Ableton, I would go to my input device here and I would select black hole, but then maybe I want to hear it on my audio interface. And now if I hit record, I should be getting exactly my output from Jacktrip and I could record that into my DAW in high quality uncompressed audio, okay? Some of you may be asking yourselves, can I do both at the same time? Like, can I get my instrument to go into my DAW for processing and then send that to Jacktrip? and also have my Jacktrip output come back into my DAW. This is where it gets a little bit complicated because in most DAWs, like in Ableton here, you can only select one input device and one output device, right? So if I have connected my instrument to my audio interface, uh, I need to tell Ableton to listen to that audio interface. But at the same time, eventually, I wanted to listen to what's returning from Jacktrip. So in that case, since it's a bit more complex, I recommend a software called Loopback. It's a paid software, but I really like it. Let me show you how that would be done. I'm opening Loopback here. I'm actually currently using this for recording, but you have different inputs that you can use and you can say um, where you wanna send them. So I'm sending things to Soundflower here and at the same time, I'm sending them to Zoom. So with this software, you can basically say, look, here are all the concrete programs that I'm using. I want Jacktrip to feed into this other program. And it has a list of everything that's active on your computer. So that's something worth considering if you're really thinking of doing complex routing, maybe you're a streamer or something. Long story, just to tell you that it is possible to connect your DAW with Jacktrip. You have to go through some of these virtual audio drivers which are free, which you just need to install and play around with a little bit. And then you can send from your DAW to Jacktrip or from Jacktrip to your DAW. If you have any more questions, leave a comment. I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible because I know some of you are eager 
to get this done. I wish you best of luck and I'll catch you in the next video.